This is what a $100,000 vacation looks like. Unfortunately, I only have one dollar. Yeah, because you're poor. Yeah, you're poor, boy. <laughs> you stupid. Okay, all right, all right. And so for the next 24 hours while I attempt a vacation using that singular dollar, my so-called friends will experience the ultimate $100,000 vacation. You guys are going to leave or you're just going to keep calling me poor? I'm going to do both at the same time. Poor. Okay. Have a phenomenal flight, boys. We definitely will. So where are we going to go to have the ultimate $100,000 vacation? The, the Bahamas. Bahamas. What these boys don't realize is for the last year, I've bought all their plane tickets. So I have a whopping 200,000 miles, which I used to buy a plane ticket to the exact same destination. So I decided to disguise myself to get through the airport without being spotted and surprise them on the flight. The boys are literally right there. They're literally right behind me boarding. My heart is racing right now. Bahamas! Bahamas! Okay, time to surprise the boys. Bahamas! Alright, I'm gonna go f*** myself. Okay, the boys are right there. It's like, uh, this is my seat right here. <laughs> this man is shook. How did you get here for a dollar? This flight was not a dollar. Remember all those trips we took? Well, literally all year long where I paid for your tickets? I used the miles off of those to get this flight for completely free. What's your plan once you get there? I have a better time than you guys, actually. And before we knew it, we were there. We are in the Bahamas. Oh my god. So we have challenge cards for this video, right? First challenge. Find a place to stay. You will not be able to do this. <laughs> you guys didn't learn anything from the last video, huh? For those of you who don't know, we tested if money can buy happiness in a recent video with a $1 versus $100,000 hotel. And after getting tested by a lie detector, both of us ended up happy. So today we finally answer the question, does money buy you happiness? And in 24 hours, we're going to use a lie detector to prove it. Good luck on having a good vacation. Have fun selling that camera because that's all you can do. <laughs> I'm talking a big game to these boys. I'm pretty nervous. The car that they're getting into has Atlantis on the side of it which is this insane resort. I've seen commercials of this place. So I think I'm just gonna ask around until I get a ride there. Okay, so we just arrived at this crazy hotel. Apparently Jason is gonna show us our crazy room. Are you ready for the grand prize? I am beyond ready. That's good. Oh my God, bro. Oh, this is man. crazy. Yeah, look at the water view, man. The shower's like three stories, bro. I'm 5'8". You have a remote control for the thing you poop in, Jason? Yeah, we do. Jason, what the? What is happening? How much does this cost a night? Uh, it's about maybe $10,000 a night. $10,000 for a single night. That's only 10%. We have to go harder. Well, I've been here for about 45 minutes now asking strangers if they wanted to do a deal with me where they give me a ride in exchange for nothing. No free ride. I'm not sure why that hasn't worked out. They did say they think there's a taxi service that comes every 45 minutes or so. That's completely free. That does take you to Atlantis. I'm going to kick back, relax. Relax in paradise and wait for this shuttle to show up. This is really the best view you could possibly get in the Bro, where are we right now? I, I have no idea. We get really lucky sometimes. <laughs> hey, boss, is this for Atlantis? Yes, sir. Amazing. What's your name? I'm David. I've got a situation on my hands. I have to survive on this island with one dollar for the next 48 hours. Oh, man, you're dead. <laughs> oh. What are you going to do? Stay on the beach? Thanks for your confidence in me. Good luck, man. And even though I couldn't get in the boys' luxury resort, I took David's advice and went to the free beach outside the luxury resort. So for now, I'm just stuck. On the most beautiful beach in the world? Look at this place. This is not real. This is a picture. How's it going? What's good, man? And you have any suggestions for uh, what I could get around here for a dollar? I got an orange and an apple. I mean, I might take an apple. I'm not going to lie to you. Really? Oh, <laughs> this is making my day right now. Thank you so much. I'm Eric, by the way. First, uh, meet me by Anthony's restaurant okay. at 5.35. And we're going to have a bear together. A bear? Yeah, with claws? A drink. Oh, a beer. Even though I secured the date with, Prisca. I still had to figure out where I was going to sleep. So worst case scenario, this right here is going to be my bed for the night. <laughs> I mean like beachfront in the Bahamas, not a bad hotel room and completely free. But I think we should go ahead and get into challenge number two. Try on your new outfit. That's right. Okay, I haven't told you guys about this yet. Now back at the airport, we all picked random suitcases that were put together by this company called Unclaimed Baggage, which basically buys your unclaimed baggage off of airlines and then sells it. So we bought four of these suitcases cases off of them and some random person's luggage is inside of this suitcase right here and whatever is in there is all that i have to survive what if it's a wedding dress in here what if there's no clothes in here you have to be naked <laughs> come on come on come on come on oh there's another zipper <laughs> <laughs> three two one Okay, well, the guy must have been going skiing or something because everything in the suitcase was in preparation for the Arctic tundra, which if you haven't realized, is the exact opposite of where I am. This is a child's suitcase. Oh my God. Yo. I look like I'm straight out of the 70s, dude. What's up, baby? 
You guys do jet skis? What's the lowest you'll take? For one of these? Yes. Give me 25. 25? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna earn $25 and I'm gonna come back to you. And from that moment on, my only goal was to make $25 so I could ride a jet ski and flex on my friends. But I was gonna need some help from an old friend. BGJ! To the Bahamas though. What up, baby? About a year ago, basically I almost died trying to steal Mr. Beast's island. Got stranded in the middle of the ocean. And this man right here called the defense force and saved my VGJ. It was good. I am extremely hungry. So how much money you need? At least $10. Then can get you something to eat for okay. sure. Basically, I just need a pitch to extract $10 out of all these beach people. The plan was simple. Sell this pen until I have enough money for food. What's this slide called? I think it's called a leap of faith. It goes straight through the shark tank. What do you say? We go on that right now? You bet your ass we're going on that thing. Let's do it. Tyler, I love you, buddy. I hope you don't die down there. Here I go. Tell Eric I said hi. I'm never going to tell him that. Yeah, you still are. Okay, maybe I will. That was crazy. Would you give me anything for this pen right here? I'm all set. All right, fair enough. Just horribly embarrassing for me. So VGJ should, literally doesn't believe in me at all. We should be some good too. You're the worst cameraman I've ever no. seen. Is there anything that you would trade me or give me for this one pen? <laughs> I was severely down bad, but I caught a lucky break from these Bohemian people on the beach who were nice enough to give me free merchandise to go try to sell to the tourists. <laughs> This t-shirt, I've got this bracelet, and I have this pen. Is there anything here that you'd like to purchase from me? No, you're just... I'm not! I'm not! You're not you're just these laughing. people think I'm faking these videos. I believe you. Okay. $40? I believe you. You get both the family jewels for this. Both the family jewels. Thank you. That's the power of the pitch. None of that shit would happen without me. What? You did nothing. Can we please, God, go get some food? I'm so hungry. While well, I was struggling to even make a dollar, the boys were literally burning thousands of dollars scuba diving with sharks. Lunch, $16. I'm gonna leave $1 tip. You don't understand how excited I am to eat right now. I'm so excited. Look at this. Oh, the fried Bohemian Kung Snap. I remember, bro, back when I was poor, I was down bad. It's like 10 minutes ago, bro. That yeah, was 10 minutes ago. Speaking of down bad, actually, you know who's not down bad is those people that we're gonna help for Christmas, thanks to Current. So I'm glad you asked. Current is the future of banking. Current is helping us surprise a bunch of strangers with literally whatever they want for Christmas. The boys should be doing that. What's your name? Can I buy you a piece of jewelry? Oh, are you sure? Thank you, Current. As you guys know, Current, responsible for a solid percentage of my career. Like you guys, they have been there since the start to make some of the most ridiculous videos actually happen in real life. What do you think they're, doing right now? they're probably buying somebody a Gucci or whatever they want. Current wants to buy you something from any store you want in here. <laughs> wow, sure. Thank you, Current. Yeah. Do you want a lot? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Current, thank you so much. Take care, Clifford. You're about to make your girls dance. It's all because of current. It's all because of current, man. I'm so freaking happy for you. Yeah, I got the wrong friend. <laughs> <laughs> and we're not just going to be surprising these random strangers. We're going to be surprising you guys. I'm going to be giving $500 away to 10 of you guys. All you have to do, go download current using the link in the description and request me 500 bucks at my current tag, ARAC. That's literally it. That's some Bahamian conk right there. That's a conk snack. So up next, we have a yacht. To get to the yacht, we have this thing. <laughs> the monstrosity of a golf cart. Like, Don't flip it. This is our yacht. That is a boat, baby. <laughs> it has a jet ski on the boat. This is craziness. This is oh, whoa, this is like a whole house. That's right, while I aimlessly stood on the beach, the boys had a $3 million yacht, the world's fastest jet skis, and those underwater mermaid things, all to themselves. Time is over in paradise. The most beautiful sunset I have ever seen with this crystal blue water. Even if I had $100,000, money cannot buy this. This might look epic and awesome, but you know who's not doing awesome? It's my buddy Frank. You gotta check on Frank, guys. Frank is our houseplant. We love him dearly. Frank pulled me aside recently and told me that if we don't reach 3 million subscribers before the end of the year, he's gonna cut his stem off. Why? I just wanna see him live. 68% of these people are not subscribed. Literally all you have to do to save Frank's life. Press the subscribe button. Please, God. We're surrounded by Frank's family right now. What do you, what do you guys think? I mean, they're just screaming. Get the channel 3 million subscribers. Hashtag stay Frank. Come dance with me, Tyler. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs>
I've had one of the best days today that I've ever had in like my life. Exactly. And I don't attribute it to the things that we were doing. I attribute it to the person I was doing it with. The things we have right now and the memories like we have right now, we might forget someday, but it's all right here on the internet. And when we're 80 years old, we, we can watch this video. And remember everything. Look at your kids, the banana boys. They're gonna be like, why'd you wear a banana? And I say, because I want to. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We're here for our scheduled date. We by Anthony's restaurant okay. at 5.35. Well, not, it's not a, like a date. It's a date. I have a girlfriend. I just want free food. I, cheating, I just want food. I'm hungry. Been waiting for uh, about 20 minutes. I think that guy stood you up, baby. No. I think you just got your first bohemian stood up. <laughs> okay, she might have, yeah, that might have happened. All right, I admit defeat. Can we just leave? Well, this is where the road ends. BGJ. But here's two dollars for gas. That's why you get sleeping on the beach. <laughs> All right, bye, bud. We are back to home base. So the boys are staying in this floating room right here, and I am out here walking around aimlessly on the beach. That <laughs> seems like a fair trade. But something that you may not know about me is that I grew up in a situation where we could not afford to do things like this. And I always saw ads for this place. The slide that goes down the temple into an underground water slide filled with sharks. I mean, you guys know me, that's, that's, that's like everything I've ever wanted. And even though I'm out here and not in there making the most of today will make me just as happy if not significantly happier. And I think that mindset is what makes you happy and not the money. But I guess we'll see tomorrow. I'm gonna sleep on the beach. Or try to, I guess. We're back home. Welcome back to the unreasonably large room. Tyler, <laughs> I'm pooped. I've had so many mimosas. The most fun part of the day is gonna be sleeping. Mm, it's five o'clock in the morning. I'm so glad that I got the bag with the Arctic winter gear because it got so cold last night. I'm using the sleeve here as a sleeping bag. Wake up, buddy. Ow! Breakfast is this coffee cake I found in the garbage. Oh, it's covered in ants. I'm still gonna eat it. Breakfast is served. Oh my God, for what, an army or us? Whoa. I don't deserve this, man. Well, thank you very much. I think it's time we open the last challenge. Spend the rest of your money. I can do that. So I marched my way back to the jet ski stand to fulfill my one and only goal for this entire trip. I'm giving you $25. Yeah. You're gonna let me take the jet ski out to flex on my friends. Yes. It's happening right now. Here we go. Oh my gosh! This is insane! I spent $1 to get here! So finally, after all my suffering, my hard work, my only dream on this trip had come true. Look at me! I'm like Tom Cruise! We just blew the rest of the money on ordering an absolute colossal amount of food. These 24 hours are about to be over. We're gonna have to fly back to Los Angeles and receive a lie detector test and really find out if money bought us happiness. That lie detector test is gonna have a hard time cracking me. Last time the lie detector test said you liked men. Are you attracted to anybody else on the couch? No. Oh! All right. Because the 24 hours are up, I did send Eric our location and he's gonna be here in the next five minutes. I somehow got into the pool complex and I'm walking over to them right now. What's up, boys? Listen, I've got something to show you guys that's just gonna, I mean, I spent all my money to flex on you. That's what I'm saying. What do you think about this for a dollar, boys? Look how fast I'm going. Are you really trying to flex on me right now with a jet ski? I mean, do, do you I, understand that a jet ski was like 4% of the fun that we had this entire time? I spent more money on this food than you spent on that jet ski. All right, let's just go take the lie detector test. So we flew all the way back to Los Angeles to meet up with John. Mr. John, there he is. Nice seeing you guys again. We traveled the seven seas to find out who's happy. I can tell you. <laughs> John, you have to give us the 100% truth. This is your job. This is going to decide factually if money buys you happiness. Were you truly happy with no money? Yes. It's a pass. Let's go! No Let's way. go, baby! You are not happy! Are you attracted to anybody on this couch? You hit me with it or No, I'm not attracted to anyone on this couch. Oh! <laughs> what? This is, this is, we're not telling you to say this. Just confirming. Correct. Did money make you happy? Yes, money made me happy. He's still failing. Oh! Let's go! Did money buy you happiness? Yes. It's still a fail. Oh! 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 Listen, 
Boys, I had a phenomenal time on the vacation, not because of the money or lavish lifestyle, it was because of the experiences I had, and it was because of the people that I met. I think the reason we actually had fun was because we were doing it together. Yeah, dude, I mean, that's what it was all about. I feel like we finally answered the question. Money does not buy you happiness. I think we should do a rematch. Make sure that you guys subscribe to Save Frank. We love you, Frank. Shout out to Mimi Miracle for following on Instagram. You just want an iPhone. I'm giving away a brand new iPhone to a new Instagram follower every single week until I get to 69 million followers. That's pretty much it. I'm leaving.